The water is gone, but now Jean and Robin Farr are being told that their home may have to be torn down. The floorboards buckled when 62 inches of water came inside and the house shifted on its foundation. On Wednesday, friends teamed up to save what they could, but almost everything was lost. The Farrs have insurance, but it won't come close to replacing their damaged property, so they wait and hope for disaster assistance from FEMA. We're looking at probably seven months to a year uh, before we can even think about living in our home again. During a tour of flood sites today, Senator Chuck Schumer said the Oneida damage meets FEMA's federal disaster standard, and he expects the president to sign the disaster declaration in the next few days. Schumer asked neighbors to save records and paperwork to make FEMA reimbursement easier. Take a picture of the stuff piled in front of your house before the sanitation people, uh, the garbage people, pick it up. If you're getting, if you need emergency equipment, let's say you had to buy a generator, keep a receipt. The extent of the damage left behind by the flooding is overwhelming. John Conklin needs to get his three sons back in their home, and he said he would be grateful for anything that helped make that possible. And that's a big help to us, you know, taking that worry, that simple worry off our chest, let alone, you know, the things that we're already dealing with here. Gene Farr just wants Oneida declared a disaster area so he can finally sit down with FEMA and see what help he and his neighbors qualify for. One of the programs we're out there, if it's, if it's low interest loans, if it's grants that we can apply for, we don't know these answers until that declaration gets signed. The Red Cross has also set up a temporary assistance location on Wilson Street here in Oneida. Flooded out neighbors can get a cleanup kit and other supplies. For now, reporting from the city of Oneida, I'm Alex Dunbar.